In this video, we're going to demonstrate some of the techniques used in manual edema mobilization. When you perform manual edema mobilization with a client, it's important to pay attention to the contraindications and the precautions that are listed in the text. I'll just mention a couple of the more major contraindications. If your client has congestive heart failure, renal failure, or liver failure, you don't want to perform manual edema mobilization because it can move a lot of fluid into the cardiovascular system very quickly. As far as the manual edema mobilization techniques, uh, first we might do some deep diaphragmatic breathing and then maybe some active range or passive range to try to clear the proximal structures. But what I want to demonstrate in the video is the light skin tractioning massage. So I'm going to just kind of pretend that we've already cleared the chest, cleared the upper arm area, and demonstrate the light skin tractioning massage on the forearm here. So if I were trying to clear the forearm, I would be working proximally to distally, and you just lay your hand over the extremity, try to get a lot of contact area, but very little pressure. And then once you've done that, you just traction the skin distally, kind of come across and then let it retract proximally. So you're doing kind of a U shape. And you would do five of those light skin tractioning U's right in a row as you clear. First you're gonna do about the proximal third of this segment, the segment here being the forearm. And then you'll do move to the middle and do five more in the middle of that segment. and then move distally and do five more on the distal part of that segment. Again, I'm just trying to get a lot of contact area with my hand on this extremity, but very little pressure, just enough so that I actually will traction the skin instead of slide over it. So now I have cleared the forearm and I could clear the forearm on the back as well. And then the next thing I might do is to try to flow that edema through the lymphatic system proximally. When you do your flowing skin traction massage, it's basically the same technique. Just get a lot of contact area, very little pressure, and you do the little U, and then you'll move to the middle, and then proximally up the arm, across the chest, and you'll do that flow five times. The other technique I want to demonstrate with manual edema mobilization is uh, the pump point stimulation. This is done in areas where the lymph tends to slow down a little bit, uh, typically around lymph nodes. And so like there's lymph nodes in the medial elbow. And so for the pump point stimulation, you're gonna lay your hand on that and typically we'll do both sides at once with pump point stimulation. You're gonna do that same skin tractioning massage with maybe just a little bit more pressure over the pump points, and you'll do a lot more repetitions, maybe 20 or 30 repetitions over the pump points. You can do that after you've cleared and flowed, or you can do that between clearing and flowing, but that's just there to try to stimulate a little bit quicker flow through those areas where the lymph tends to otherwise slow down a little bit.